capers? Yeah. Yeah, load it. All of I can double check. I can do a peanut on the water. I got one on special just as light. You would like a sample? I'll give you a sample. I'll do the light. It is. It's one of my personal favorites. Yeah. Is it just a regular egg or do you use quail egg? Uh, regular egg. Regular? 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 How much of the beef do you put in per one egg? How much beef? Yeah, How many like, ounces? How many ounces of beef is that? 10 ounces. 8 ounces? 10. 10 ounces. 10 ounces, okay. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ken's Food Review. I'm glad you're here. Tonight we're at Charlie's Steakhouse down in Orlando. Finally got down here, been dying to come check this place out. We got the steak tartare and the ahi tuna. Definitely looking forward to it. It smells so good, they may get right in front of you. So uh, here we go. Let's check out this tuna first. Very nice and brightly colored red sesame crust on top and tuna just melts in your mouth it's absolutely amazing good flavor profile too with the uh, sesame seeds on it Definitely a good way to start a steak dinner. A little bit of wasabi to spice it up a little bit. So the beef, as you saw, is all made fresh right in front of you. The beef is just soft and tender and delicious. It's really good flavor profiles with the capers, the egg, onions, and the beef. I'm definitely impressed so far. You gotta come check out Charlie's. It's a dinner bread too. It's definitely uh, definitely very different from any other style you get anywhere else. Wow. It's just so butter, buttery and garlicky. This bread is definitely the best. It's actually, I've never had bread this good. Blows that place in uh, Tampa away. Different kind of place, different kind of bread. It's amazing. It's like soft, crunchy, flaky, buttery, garlicky. Definitely good. So we got this beautiful, tender, 27 day dry aged ribeye. Medium rare, pretty much on point. Nice pink center. Steak definitely has a nice smoky flavor. Plenty of juiciness to it, plenty of flavor. <laughs> they have a good combination of different kinds of wood they use. They use citrus wood. So you got some orange and lemon and oak. Definitely gives that steak a nice distinctive flavor. Really does add that nice taste to the steak.
Definitely get awesome service. Andrew's doing a great job helping us all out. Getting us all out. drinks and food and everything else. <laughs> this place is definitely impressive. I'd definitely come out here again. I have a really huge wine selection. As you can see, the wall has plenty of wine on it. Um, Gary and Orlando definitely come out to Charlie's Steakhouse, enjoy some steak, enjoy some good food and drinks. Um, the they have is pretty impressive too, they throw all the steaks on. All the appetizers were great. Definitely give this place any four. It's a steak, it's starving. Um, catch you all in the next review. Peace. So we're back for dessert, but I'm kind of full. Definitely ate a lot of food, had my fill. Amazing time and atmosphere, good time with friends. Definitely glad to be down in Orlando today at Charlie's Steakhouse. Uh, so I just went with a, a special martini. Uh, just plain and simple, nothing too fancy. Literally just espresso and vodka. It's to you all, thank you for watching. Continue to subscribe and like. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, salute to Chin Chin. Delicious. You can't even sing me happy birthday. Embarrassed. Ready? <laughs> you got the happy happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, Roberto. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Oh. You smell like a monkey. You didn't see it. Right here. <laughs> and they're right here. A little bit of flame going. There we go. That is an awesome way to do a crème brûlée right there. You gotta have it. You gotta try it. You smell that cinnamon. It's awesome. So whenever my mom cooks, she always boils a big pot of water yeah. and throws two cinnamon sticks in it. I love it. And the whole house smells like that. Yeah. Take away the smell of whatever she was cooking. Oh, yeah.